Hello guys and girls and welcome back to whatever the fuck this is and today we're just going to talk about effort and how the least effort can get you the most wins and the 80 20 rule and diminished returns on YouTube Oh, well exciting most importantly it's about getting the most out of doing the least yeah getting the most out of doing the least I should have said that straight away shouldn't I oh well <laughs> so, anyway, the main book, but this is why you're here. This is why you're here. To hear about getting more from your efforts, yeah? Getting most from the least. And what we're going to do for small YouTubers is we're going to think about the 80 20 rule. The 80 20 rule applies to so many different things in life, you know? In terms of well, on YouTube, how many subscribers to. Let's talk about your views, you know? Subscribers to non subscribers. 80 20 rule is a nice rule to have, you know? 80% subscribers, 20% non subscribers. Motherfuckers crossing the road. 80% of them. 80% of them. <laughs> but also it applies to effort. And we're going to flip it around a little bit. And we're going to change it to 28. Still the same sort of thing. Still the same sort of thing. But you'll find that a lot of things, 20% of the effort will get you 80% of the results. And this is true on YouTube as well. You know, 20% of the efforts will get you 80% of the results. No bullshit. No bullshit. Let me just get past him. Let me just get past that dude. Bit of a dodge sitch. Why the fuck did I say dodge sitch? I don't know. Something marketing wanker, obviously. <laughs> so, what is the 20% that we can do to make 80% of the results possible? Well, it's the basics. That's what it's all about. It's all about the basics, man. And it's the basics what a lot of YouTubers forget about. And sometimes they don't even forget about them. They might have done them, but they've not looked at them in the future. You know, oh, that's opened again. That was a Rama Spice. That was a nice curry place. Anyway, <laughs> it's the basics what a lot of people don't do. And it's the basics what a lot of YouTubers, they might have done in the past. But then they've not revisited it and they've not checked to see that it's still as good as it can be. Let's talk about the basics what a lot of YouTubers forget about or don't do or don't revisit. Simple things which will make the most difference. Let's start off with the channel. Let's start off with your channel. I talked about setting up your channel to get the most subscribers in a video up in the card right there. Talked about that and if you've not set up your channel page to get them subscribers, it's all about setting up your banner art, your links, your trailer, your playlist, and organizing them in a nice fashion. In aesthetically pleasing fashion as well, you know? A little bit of effort, a little bit of effort, and you'll get the most results from that one, because the channel page is where, I don't know about you, but I get most of my subscribers from my channel page, you know? Because that's, when someone clicks on your name, that's the first thing they see. The first thing they see is your is your channel banner art. And what the fuck does yours say about you? What does it tell them? What does it project to them? What does it, oh, that's a nice house, that is, isn't it? That is a nice house. So that's that's one of the basic things, you know? Set up your channel correctly. Another basic thing is your thumbnails. Are your thumbnails consistent? Are they branded consistently? Talk about channel branding up in that card right there. And how you can set your thumbnails apart from everyone else's by using channel by using branded thumbnails. And you might have done this before, and you might have your branded thumbnails and say, "Yeah, that's my style. I've already doing that six. What the fuck are you talking about?" But have you gone and revisited them? Have you gone and said, "Is this showing my channel off in the best way? Is this easily to this? Is my logo easy to distinguish from other people's? Is it big enough? Is it the right color? Is it attractive enough?" All these things that you can go and revisit, even if you might be doing them. Little bits of effort. What else is there? What else is there? Well, it's your descriptions. Your descriptions. So many people still don't write out the descriptions. Now, you don't have to do a novel. I'm not saying go write out fucking paragraphs and paragraphs of text. You know? You've got 5,000 characters to play with, though. So if you're only writing, like, 13. <laughs> You're not really making the most use out of it, you know? And, and the description is probably the easiest thing to do because when you're uploading, it lets you write out your description. It lets you write it out. 
So while you're waiting for that upload to happen, you could be writing out your description. And then it's just done, you know? Simple thing. I talk about writing the description up in that card right there as well. So many things we've covered on this channel. And what else is there? Playlists? Organising your content into playlists? And why does this matter? Well, because if your content is organised into playlists, one, it appears in a completely separate search results on YouTube. So if someone's searching for a certain topic, playlists will appear in a separate like results page. You know, so if your results page, if your playlist turns up because it's not many people have done playlists like that, then you could be getting more views and more traffic for, to your stuff. And it's easy to set up a playlist, you just got to create a new playlist. Organise your content as well. Organised content makes it easier for people to, to see what you do. It makes it easier for them to find what, what they want to find. It makes it more aesthetically pleasing as well for when you put it on your channel page, where people have got sections what they can just go to and check out. Simple thing, playlists, they're very powerful things. Not only that, if in a playlist, if someone got, gets to watch in a playlist, rather than at the end of the video where a shitload of random videos pop up and yours might pop up every once in a while, in a playlist, the next video auto plays. So they could end up binge watching your stuff, if it keeps them interested enough. They could end up binge watching it. And how cool is that? That people can just binge watch your stuff? Not only, that, not only does that improve your stats, it gives you a chance to make someone a subscriber for, for however long they stay on YouTube. Simple things, man. Simple things. These are all simple things that we're talking about. What else is there? Tags. Tags. Simple fucking thing. Tags. I know tags is a pin in the ass, right? Make it easier. Get the TubeBuddy plugin. TubeBuddy.com slash 650. Link in the description. And probably up there in the card. Do the tags, man. Make it easy on yourself, use TubeBuddy. You don't even have to use like the pro version or anything like that. The free version will give you some basics. Give you a starter. And then if you if you find that it's okay, go to the next level up, it's $9 a month. Which is fuck all really, isn't it? That's like a, that's like a pint in London. <laughs> Simple basic things and this is what the 2080 rule is all about. Or the 8020 rule. 20% of the effort will get you 80% of the results. And then it will take the re the other 80% effort to get you that little 20%. But why make it harder on yourself? Why make it harder on yourself? Do the 20%, do the basics of YouTube, those quick wins. Quick wins is what it's all about, you know? Quick wins. Because who wants to spend hours and hours doing shit when you don't have to do it, you know? Get 80% and you'll do better than a lot of YouTubers do. Simple as that. And of course, there is also the uh, the law of diminished returns on YouTube, where there will become a point of the effort doesn't meet the output, or the input doesn't meet the output. You know, where you'll put so much in, but you'll start to get less and less from it. You know, they'll reach a tipping point where the amount of input doesn't really meet the amount of output that you're getting, so you need to find that balancing point. But that might be for another separate whole video on its own. But anyway, it all ties in together. 80-20 rule, 20-80 rule, whatever you want to call it. Do the do the basics, guys. Do the basics and that's your 20% covered. And you'll get the most results from them. Guarantee it. As well as your cards and all this type of shit. You should be doing all this stuff anyway. Cards, end screens and everything. All the basic shit that we've talked about before. Hope you are. But I hope you are revisiting them as well. And making sure that they still work the best for you. Because these small things, these small little changes are things where we're going to get you the most results. Simple as that. Simple as that. I could just, you know, open with the quote. It's, 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 it's the small things that make the biggest difference. I could just said that and saved you 8, 9, 10 minutes, however long this video is, of, uh, of watch time. But it's all about that watch time, so, you know, you're here now. But as you're here, I hope you guys <laughs> like this video. But more importantly, I hope you got something from it. If you did, slap a like on it. If you didn't, slap a dislike on it. But tell me why. Anyway, if you want to see more on YouTube, click or tap. If you want to see another video of mine straight away because you love me so much, click or tap that one right there. And uh, for now, right, safe. Peace the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. Woo! I'm a filter, filter, filter like this. 
I'm a filter like a coffee machine.